These incredible gadgets are not for kids. New and innovative gadgets are invented to make our lives more smooth and more comfortable so that we don't have to go around places to do some sort of work on our own, but use a tool or a gadget to do that task. Nowadays, some gadgets have come into the market that are useful for us, but we can't let them near our kids in our leisure time. However, in today's video, we will list some unique and dangerous gadgets that should be near kids. Starting with drones. From the safety of his desk, a CIA operator in Virginia may fly a near silent predator drone into the night skies of Pakistan, pinpoint his target on a video screen, and rain down bombs and missiles. While counterterrorism authorities in the White House advocate unmanned drones as a cleaner option to military action, their usage raises serious concerns about state-sanctioned killings and the unavoidable killings of innocent civilians. Well, it is just a use case of drones by the military forces in the battlegrounds or restricted areas that they can spy and locate things, activities, and people according to their will. On the other hand, as terrifying as the armed drones are, the thought of civilian spy drones is absolutely terrifying. The United States Congress passed legislation in 2012 permitting the Federal Aviation Administration to develop guidelines for the use of commercial and police forces drones in United States airspace. And according to New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, the presence of drones hovering over American cities is unavoidable. Law enforcement is excited about the prospect of tracking suspects from the sky, but privacy activists are concerned that it is only a short step from targeted surveillance to unrestricted 24-7 surveillance of everyone. Whether it is good or bad, but you still can't let your kid use a drone on his as he might hurt himself or the other parties around. Moving ahead on Wasp Knife. Watermelons are under attack from a terrible, almost double sharpened steel and freezing gas. This five and a quarter inch hunting slash tactical blade contains a devastating one-two punch designed to quickly destroy prowling aquatic animals. A great white shark has come after you, and a flick of a button injects the beast with an 800 psi burst of compressed air. The interior of whatever it's injected into gets decimated by this basketball-sized spherical of freezing gas, and whatever remains just floats to the surface. It also works well on watermelons. This is a dangerous gadget that you cannot let near your kids or anyone who doesn't know how to use it, as it may result in chaos. Stabbing random things on dry ground and then letting them explode is a quick way to get charged with vandalism. But using the wasp knife on an innocent animal for no other reason than self-defense, depending on the state, you could face charges such as felonious assault using a deadly weapon, animal cruelty, or even the uncommon mayhem penalty. Okay, so moving to the Sonar 2. This gadget can rip through trash bags and retinas with absolute ease. Well, everyone wants to have a lightsaber. Unfortunately, we can't have them because A, midichlorians don't exist, and B, law enforcement agencies are already wary of high-power handheld lasers. Consider Wicked Laser's Sonar 2 Burner. This 6-inch tool, which is essentially a more advanced form of the lasers found in Blu-ray players, doesn't have to adjust for anything. It can light matches, burn holes through paper, and melt plastic. So it's quite obvious that you can't let this gadget near your kids anyhow, as they might get burns or get each other blind while playing with it. Also, you might be wondering how you'd get arrested if this gadget caught you. The Sonar 2 at 60 milliwatts is entirely capable of starting fires, destruction, searing retinas, assault, and misleading airline pilots, Gitmo. Let us check upon the next item on the list, Solo Wheel. Do you despise going for a walk? The battery-powered Solo Wheel is the device for you. Simply stand on this so-called people mover and let it transport you. It's a distant relative of the hoverboard, but it's a little cooler. Still, 
While this is okay for teenagers and even college students, no self-respecting adult should be seen arriving to work on one. But I'm pretty sure that this item isn't for kids as it is risky, difficult to ride and might make you or the kid lose his or her teeth while riding it. So if you're thinking of giving it a shot and purchasing it for yourself, then kindly keep it at a distance from your kids. On to the next, Fiber Laser Marking System. Although it might not appear frightening, the portable laser can carve images into rock, glass, and metal. Well, if you're going to vandalize public property, you might as well use technology to help you. The handheld fiber laser marking system is Laser Photonics' unintended contribution to this practice. This portable high-power laser was created originally for etching images onto industrial surfaces such as metal, glass, and stone. Sure, it doesn't have the DIY appeal of spray paint. Nevertheless, it compensates for this by running on a car battery and etching practically any graphic that can be loaded onto a multimedia card. However, it is not good to buy this gadget if you have kids at home, as this laser can sear images on anything, and if you or your kid or kids are employing this on public properties, then you might end up getting arrested or will get penalized with high fines. Labeling public property with such enthusiasm is likely to increase the charge. A handful of states reserve the right to raise vandalism charges to offenses if the damage exceeds $400, is particularly malicious or is committed by a repeat offender. The next gadget on the list is the EMT Paintball Sentry Turret. Fires at a rate of 30 rounds per second, completely automated. Almost all kinds of competitive paintball are illegal, so beware. Well, the nudely appendage of the flying spaghetti monster assists the unfortunate scheme which finds himself in the crosshairs of the Sentry Turret. On full auto, this remote-controlled tripod-mounted paintball cannon delivers oil-based wrath at 30 rounds per second. Take heed, paintballing pros. The EMT is not a glorified sloppy shooting brass eagle. Rounds fired from this device are exceptionally accurate due to integrated vibration dampeners and rotation tilt mechanisms. Hence, as you have seen the features of this paintball machine, and now you know how dangerous it is, you might not be thinking of purchasing it for yourself and even for your kids. With the volume of paint, the Sentry is capable of unloading and able to send you behind the bars, as you'd very certainly be charged with assault, disturbing the peace, and any other charges your welt-covered victims wish to press. On to another dangerous gadget, Remote Control Helicopter Gunship. If you prefer to conduct nasty things from a distance rather than up close and personal, this remote control helicopter gunship may be of interest. How do you jazz up a regular hobbyist Gasser EB? You install a 45 caliber handgun in the front and a remote firing mechanism. This amusing but harmful gunship just can't be used for fun by assaulting other people, but it can be used to shock them with pranks. But this gadget is definitely not for kids. I repeat guys, this ain't for kids. They might hurt someone and get assault charges on their or most probably on your head. Another gadget we have a device that might come in handy. For example, Victorinox's Swiss Flash Swiss Army Knife. This amazing gadget has scissors, a nail file, a screwdriver, a laser pointer, a knife, and a USB 2 stick. Capacities range from 1 gigabyte to 16 gigabytes, so be cautious while carrying your favorite data storage device on planes. Nevertheless, it is a useful tool to carry on if you're going on a camp or on an expedition, then it is very helpful, but it is definitely not good to be around kids. They might end up hurting themselves and you are not gonna like that. Up next, the Pyro System 2.2. Speaking of barbecues, this should make them a breeze to prepare. 
Everett Bradfield is a 21-year-old electrical engineer from America's Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute who reasoned that if X-Man Pyro could play with fire from his fingertips, so could he. The Pyro System 2.2 is definitely a very angry piece of technology. Well, this can be a fun tool to play with in your backyard with your old friends if they're superhero enthusiasts, but it is not a good purchase when you have kids at home. They will definitely burn each other and you will regret it later. It is the second last gadget on the list, Lockheed Martin's Multiple Kill Vehicle. According to its website, it is intended to be an integrated mid-course missile defense system. Simply put, this little device is designed to fly up to a group of oncoming insects, hover among them, and eliminate them one by one, making it ideal for summer barbecues and those annoying horseflies. Well, I do not prefer you to purchase it if your kids are around at home as they might hurt themselves if they operate them in no supervision. Moving on to the most dangerous gadget on the list is the palm gun. Have you ever shot someone and thought it was simply too exhausting? Well, I'm not saying that you have to shoot a person, but the crux is that if you have ever shot a gun, then you know that it's too tiring. But do not worry, because the Palm Pistol has arrived! And anyway, why purchase a squeeze ball when you can have a 9mm pistol? Constitution Arms has previously attempted to register the weapon as a medical device, claiming that it will assist the elderly live longer lives because it requires minimal effort to shoot. But as you know, this gadget is not worthy and good enough for kids and you cannot let this gadget anywhere near your kids as you might regret later getting this. It is cool to use in a shooting range, but not good to keep at home. Well, these are incredible gadgets that are very useful when you're alone at home or you're living with your friends, but these are not worth it if you have kids at home. Hence, that's it for today. I hope you like the gadgets on the list. Hit the like button and tell us which gadget you like the most and which you might purchase if given the opportunity.